Mr. Locario and Miles coming here. This is that real shit, not that fake shit. The only radio show that's not afraid to tell you the truth about the game. This is the Bad Boy Radio Show. Remember, the truth is inside you. All right, people, what up? It's the Bad Boy Show. Yeah, Mr. Locario and Miles Cunningham. What's what poppin', what Miles? What's going on? Chilling, man. Chilling, man. Uh, you know, I'm learning new things about the society, man. You know? I feel you. Nah, I feel, I feel you, man. I'm like, <laughs> I was having one of those days yesterday, man. I feel like I'm still having it today where, you know, when you just reflect on life and you be like, like, what the fuck is the point of everything? You know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> it's crazy. It's like, God damn. Like, why? So today's show... Yeah. We're going to be mm-hmm. talking about, like, uh, why you can't let women lead the relationship, okay? So mm. It's very important for you guys out there to know so that you don't, you know, be miserable in your situation. You feel what I'm saying? Right. But, um, <laughs> but, well, before we get into that, right, we're going we're gonna to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to get into some news, all right? So you guys are listening to The Bad Boy Show. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com. All right, yo, we back. We are back in the place. Yeah, man. So, so a, a lot's been going on in the news, man. Especially because you know Donald Trump is now officially the president of the United States. You feel me? It's, wow. it's going down. Wow. Everybody's, you know, upset and shit. And, you know, especially wow. the ladies. You know. <laughs> They are pissed off. They are in the streets yelling and screaming and crying. It's it's crazy. It's so crazy. Mm-hmm. Out there. And you know, it's it's interesting because they they show they show pictures of the actual inauguration and then they show pictures of the the women's protest in mm-hmm. DC and the protest had more people than the actual inauguration. You know what I'm saying? I'm like that's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? But but it's like but it's interesting because you know, you have so many women that are upset or are mad that Donald Trump is in office. And you know, and I I mean I don't I don't care about this guy or whatever, but the thing is a lot of a lot of women voted for Donald Trump. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like it seems like no one could ever get on the same page like no no sort of quote unquote group of people can ever get on the same page and just do some shit. You feel what I'm saying? Right, because right. if it was a thing where, you know, women are like, oh, he's sexist, he's talking about grabbing women by the pussy and this and this and that and, you know, all the other shit. And it's like, you would think that at least 90 to 95% of women would have been like, fuck this guy. You feel what I'm saying? But right. it was a, a good majority of women who voted for this guy. You feel what I'm saying? It's fucking crazy. Right. So I'm like, it, it's like, what the hell's going on? So, and then you got all these, um, you know, women in the street, they're protesting and marching. And so it was like this big women's thing, women's march, basically all across, like, you know, a whole bunch of different cities. You feel what I'm saying? So it wasn't just in D.C. It was in New York. It was in, uh, like, I think North Carolina, South Carolina, some shit. They had some in Chicago. They had some in uh, Boston, I think. It was, like, all over the place. You feel what I'm saying? And so, but the thing is, I always say, what's the what's the point of marching, though? You feel what I'm saying? There's no, there's no, there's no fucking point in marching. The thing, <laughs> the thing with humans is that they have, they always have to feel like they're doing something. Right, right. You know? Like, let me tell you, like, you ever, you ever procrastinated on something important that you were supposed to do? Right. But like, instead of doing the thing you know you're supposed to do, you do something small and easy mm-hmm. because it's like, well, I'm not doing the other thing, but at least I'm doing something. So right. You kind of like pacify your need to do something for like 30 minutes or whatever mm-hmm. so it's like you know you're supposed to go you know 
make a make a new page on the website and right. you know but that that's kind of like you got to really get into it and be in the mood to do it so you're like fuck it let me check my email right exactly and then, you know and so you check a couple of emails and then all of a sudden you find yourself on facebook and it's like well i'm doing something mm-hmm. but i'm not doing the thing i'm supposed to do and that's the thing with humans like Honestly, if we want to change anything, niggas got to get up and be ready to fucking die. Like, mm-hmm. straight up Pretty and much. down. <laughs> that's much. really what it is. And Pretty that's much. why I, res- I, <laughs> I respect history and niggas from history. Because back in the day, nobody marched. Mm-hmm. If niggas were marching back in the day, you were marching to your death. Right, because right. you had a fucking purpose. Like, mm-hmm. and, I'm, and I'm not saying, I'm not even, I'm not talking shit like I'm one of them, you know, I mean... I feel like I'm a real nigga, but I don't know if I'm really ready to die yet either. Cause right. I'm trying to like, <laughs> I like I like living, you know what I'm saying? Right, and right. I'm, you know, I'm I'm a product of this of this you know new modern time, so right. I don't want to just get up and die like that. But right, if you want anything to change, it's you gotta really be willing to give up your fucking life, be mm-hmm. like straight up and down. Pretty much, and, and anything other than that is just masturbation. Right, you know right, saying? exactly. Like niggas, if if niggas. Everybody out there acts like they want to fuck. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. all everybody's doing is just masturbating. Right, you know right, exactly. <laughs> you you get up in March, you just masturbate. Right. You 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 try to you try to uh, you know, you write letters to your fucking politicians. You're just masturbating. You mm-hmm. understand? Pretty much. Because the thing is, this That's it's it. like it's like you know, if you really you know. If you really want something to go down, like let's say the, the the least you could do, like let's say if all these women said, "Yo, we're not gonna." We're gonna stop uh, buying certain things. You know what I'm saying? Are we gonna we're right. gonna stop participating in this? And then by them not participating in it, it actually fucked up the flow of things. You feel what I'm saying? And right. then maybe they'll be like, "All right, let me. We got you know we gotta do something because they serious about this." But actually, walking from this street to to that street, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Holding up signs. Right. It don't do nothing at the end of the day. It, you feel what I'm saying? it, it doesn't, doesn't do nothing. nothing. It you know what I mean? And, then, and the thing is, is that, you know, what happens is that, you know, you just get, you just, uh, you just get that feeling, you get that feeling that you are making a difference, but it's not really doing nothing because, all right, that shit happened yesterday. Now what's, what's going on today? What, what actually changed today? What changed? That not a was, fucking thing. Exactly. <laughs> not a fucking thing. Like you, like what, what it is, is like the the other thing is is that if you're not willing to die then you have to be willing to be really uncomfortable for a while mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying right but right. If, and the example i use with that is like for example you know you got you got these these black leaders and people who you know talk a lot of shit about the buying power of the black community right 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 and they say and they say yo if you if if every black person in america stops buying shit like if you decide to not go to walmart for 30 days straight Mm -hmm. or if you decide to not buy gas for 30 days straight right like it it, it, it's still it's still a form of protest but it's getting to the real like point like you're actually you're actually punching the fucking dragon in the face you understand Mm -hmm. pretty much but every Everything else is masturbation because the dragon only gives a fuck about his money. Right. So if you if you if you directly fuck with his money, um, that's when that's when the dragon is gonna feel you. Exactly. But the thing is, the dragon got you by the balls because you're so used to feeling comfortable. Mm-hmm. You understand? Right. You're you're used to your lifestyle. Like first thing a nigga will tell you when you tell him, "Yo, don't don't buy gas, don't buy gas for thirty days," he'll be like. I got to get to work because I got kids to feed. Right, you know right, exactly. <laughs> like, you got to be willing. To, that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to be willing to be to be uncom- like super uncomfortable for a while. Mm-hmm. And in that respect, be willing to die. Because, shit, if you don't go to work and don't feed your kids mm-hmm. for 30 days, right. then one of, your kids, one of your kids might fucking die. Right, exactly, exactly. And, 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 that, and that's even that's a more severe form of discomfort. But that's the point I'm trying to make, like, this this country they got it they got us by the balls because all of us want to feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. All of us we love the we love the luxury of the internet. We love the luxury. Check it out. You you see how Google works? Right. Google works like this. You love the luxury of easy access to pretty much any type of information you want, mm-hmm. right? But at the same time, every time you plug in a search, they learn something more about you. Right. 
Mm-hmm. And that in, they use that information to make you even more comfortable. Right. <laughs> exactly. Because every time every time you search a product, the next web page you so you search a product on Amazon, the next time you go to fucking Worldstar, there's that same fucking product that you looked up uh uh you know earlier, five minutes earlier, the same product. So they're making you comfortable. They're bringing what you want to you right. and it's making you comfortable. And basically, he's putting niggas to sleep. He's mm-hmm. putting niggas to sleep. Pretty much. You understand? Nobody is willing to wake up and fucking, um, like, want to really punch the dragon in the face. Right. right? And then on because the, we're, on, we're so, we just want to be comfortable. Right. And on the subconscious level, what it does is that it makes you sort of not want to punch the dragon in the face. You feel what I'm saying? Because, right, because you, you're like, man, I'm going to fuck up all my access to this information exactly, and it's easy living. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? Because, ch- yo, tell me, trust me, that those marches, that's the, that's the thing that makes you, it's like, it's like a thing that it just makes you feel like you're actually doing the doing the thing without exactly. having to really do the thing. You feel what I'm saying? No, nah, so, so, you're, just, you, you, you're just beating the dragon off. Things. That's right. all you're doing. Right. Because trust me, all those people in, you know, uh, uh, in, in, in office and all that, they just looking down at these, these ladies marching and it's just like, oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. Great. Like, uh huh. Like, yeah, that's good. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Like, they're like, yes, you're doing exactly what you should be doing or what we want you to do. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, because they're not, you know, that's the thing is like, you know, in order for, for, and especially, you know, the fact that this is, this is, uh, you know, women doing this, you know what I'm saying? Right. The fact that is women doing this is even more sweeter for the the the, the people that are you know uh, in in positions of power because they know women are all about the feelings. You feel what I'm saying? So They're all about the feelings. So yep. exactly. <laughs> so they just it's, exactly it's masturbation. It's masturbation. Right. Right? So they're just like because, yeah, you know, let because them feel real good. real real unprotected. What what happens with real unprotected unprotected fucking? Right, you just, uh, you get a you get a bitch stuff. pregnant and you bring a new life into the world. Right, right. right. That's act- that's real change. That's action, right? <laughs> like you're uh, you're literally affecting the world by fucking. You mm-hmm. understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You brought a new mouth to feed. You brought a new brain with ideas that might affect change in the world and this and that right. and that and this new relationship, new connection. Right. When you masturbate, what happens? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. You 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 get the feeling. Right. You get the feeling, and then you you go on about your day. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Just like you march, you get mm-hmm. the feeling. You go on about your day. Oh my nigga, you vote. You right. vote. You get the feeling, mm-hmm. and then you go about your day. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. And nothing actually. Nothing actually changes. The person who didn't want to be in office gets into office. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. dragon don't give a fuck about your vote. Exactly. Exactly. Voting <laughs> is masturbation. All of it. All of it, unless you're willing to die and actually make a change, all of it is masturbation. All of it. Pretty fucking much, man. And believe me, I know, because a nigga like me beat, beat my meat a lot. So. <laughs> <laughs> I know what the fuck I'm talking about. And it's crazy because, like, I kind of, like, I asked on, uh, you know, question on Facebook um, yesterday. I was like, you know, what is the, the march is about uh, for the women? You know what I mean? Because, like... I, f- at first, like, I really didn't know because I was like, you know, uh, what's, what is, what's going on? So then, you know, people online were saying it was like, oh, it's because, you know, uh, the, 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 the rights of women and yada, 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 yada. And I was like, and then right. and they were connecting it, you know, especially to specifically Donald Trump. And I'm just like, but you know, all of this shit about women's rights and all that shit, like, it's it's been it's been fucked up like this isn't like something new like this is this didn't happen uh because uh donald trump just got in office you feel what i'm saying like all these politicians didn't give a fuck about that shit it was just that the difference between donald trump and them is that donald trump is basically like uh you know uh you know in your face with it you feel what i'm saying these other people were just you know doing that political shit where they pretend they're going to make change. They pretend that they, you know they're they're concerned about the issues. You feel what I'm saying? But right. Donald Trump is just the guy that's like, "Yo, fuck that." You understand? Like this, like Don, this is this is what the other politicians are the niggas that go up to the girls and say, "Hey, girl, uh, how you doing? How you doing, Miss? We should go on a date, right?" 
Fucking right. Donald Trump is the guy that goes up to the chick and say, yo, bitch, you want to fuck? You understand what I'm saying? Right. That's it. That's that's all that shit is. You feel what I'm saying? And so now the girl is like, oh, my God, how could you be so, uh, how could you be so forward? And, and that's disgusting and yada, yada, yada. And I'm, like, and, and I'm like, yo, all the other niggas was thinking the same thing. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's the same mm-hmm. shit. So it's like, mm-hmm. you know, but it, it, it's hard to, to explain that. To people who have been asleep by, you know, uh, you know, politics and, and people just sort of like blowing smoke up their ass. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Because I'm right. like, man, like, and, and it's funny because I was on, uh, 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 what was it, Instagram the other day and some chick, she wrote, some guy wrote a, 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 a post or something saying like, hey, you know, uh, ladies, you know, it's, it's cool that you guys march in the streets and everything, but be mindful that, you know, people have to get to work and blah, 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 and all the other stuff. So if you could be, you know, go on the sidewalk or whatever, whatever. Right. So then this chick wrote a response to this guy talking about, oh, well, if you could, you know, I know you want to have sex with girls, but if you could be mindful that, you know, uh, some women don't want to have sex with you. And if you, you know, you might be infringing on a woman's right to sex and all this other bullshit. I'm like, okay, see, this is, this is the issue that I have a lot of times with women in, 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 in situations like this is where it's like, they're trying to get their point across. They're trying to make points, but a lot of times it's like the stuff that they're complaining about doesn't really uh, you know, it doesn't really correlate to what the, the, the issue is. Cause what the guy was talking yeah. about actually was talking about people in general and trying to say, look, you know, <laughs> we need to make sure shit is like orchestrated in a way where everybody could do what they need to do. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Everybody and then now, get to work. Right. So and now, to, men and women need to get to exactly. Work. You know now you make it into an issue about just a man and a woman and how he's being this predator and how you're being this, like, I'm like, Oh, here we go again with the bullshit. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And and the thing is this, I'm not even saying it to minimize the shit that uh, uh women go through. My thing is to me, and this is what I feel like a lot of women do is, is that she's trying to minimize the actual shit women go through just to make a fucking point. You feel what I'm saying? That didn't mm. even make the damn point. And then that's the shit. I'm just like, it, it, and again, it's always with, the feelings with these women. And it just like, it, it, it kills me. And this is why we talking about why you can't let a woman lead in a relationship. I was just thinking gonna, that shit. You know what I was like, this is, this is exactly, this is this exactly like. why you can't say that, man. Oh, but real quick, before we get to the next story, I wanted to, because this story popped in my head. Did you yeah. see the fucking Popeye's commercial with Jerry Rice? With the chicken? No. Nigga, oh my, Listen. They got this Popeye's commercial. It's been going around the internet and shit, right? Jerry Rice has a Popeye's helmet on with a chicken mouth guard that's rotating in, near his mouth. And then this nigga's, uh, at the end of the commercial, he has this big ass butter biscuit. You feel what I'm saying? Cooning on the fucking commercial, waving and and, and eating chicken with, with barbecue all over his face and shit. Like, and so a lot of people was like mad as hell because they're like, yo, what the fuck is Jerry Rice doing? You feel what I'm saying? Like right. he's <laughs> he's like, you know, uh, uh on this on this commercial eating chicken. Like it almost looked like it almost looked like uh uh like a Dave Chappelle skit. You feel what I'm saying? You know how Dave <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it yeah. almost looked like that, but it was it looked straight like uh, like a commercial from the nineteen fucking twenties on some super cooning chicken watermelon shit, and I was just like, God damn, you feel what I'm saying? And I'm just like, does this nigga need money that bad? Where he's just like, fuck it, he just don't give a goddamn about the shit. And I'm just like, yo, this shit is 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 terrible. You understand? And this is the thing. People were saying, you know, of course, you had the people that was like, what are you, what are you talking about? Why you got to make everything about races? It, it's just a funny commercial and yada, 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 yada. You feel what I'm saying? But this yeah. is what you got to understand about cooning and doing all that bullshit is that whenever you, whenever you create a narrative and the narrative in those situations is black people is fucked up, stupid, dumb, and, and this is what they do and blah, 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 right? It doesn't, mm-hmm. it's not just something that's, oh, it's funny and cute. You understand? Mm-hmm. It's trying to create a message. You feel what I mean? And the right. message is, is that we got you niggas. You feel what I'm saying? That's all the message is. So when you participate in that shit, you feel what I'm saying? You're, you're co-signing 
them saying they got you. You understand? They, you're yes. co-signing the yes. shit that they're talking about with you. You feel what I'm saying? So you have to right. basically opt out the fucking game and not participate. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm just like, <laughs> it's certain things that niggas don't understand. The same shit with the, you know, with Steve Harvey uh, meeting Donald Trump and all of that shit. It's like, on one end, you're like, okay, is he just trying to get his paper? But on the other end, you got to see how it looks in the grand scheme of things. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, as you as a black dude, that could come back and bite you in the ass because of you trying to, you know, get that short-term bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? So it was just like, right. oh, I'm like, Jesus Christ. But yeah, you got to see that fucking commercial. That shit is just like the worst. I was like, yo, I was like, <laughs> this nigga's really doing this, yo. And I'm like, these fucking... Uh, uh, fucking white people actually wrote this shit and and put it out like 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 literally this shit looked like some shit that came out fucking in like 1907 or some shit. I was just like, wow, this is terrible. I'm like, man. And then see this, like like we were saying, uh, the, the, you know, earlier, is that I'm looking at this shit and this shit make me not want to buy Popeyes anymore. You feel what I'm saying? Right, I'm like right. fuck these niggas. You feel what I mean? But then of course I'm looking in the comment section and niggas still talking about. Well, I don't like the commercial, but I'm gonna still get my two piece with a biscuit. I'm like exactly, exactly. Niggas is comfortable. Exactly. You, you, you want to be comfortable? You know what I'm saying? Like you know, it's, yo, I'm telling you, it's crazy, man. Niggas it's is comfortable, bro. I'm like, oh my god. Anyway, so in other news, I thought this was funny. This chick, there's this chick on YouTube named named Lena the Plug. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> is, is she said that she's gonna drop a sex tape if she reaches one million subscribers on YouTube? Okay. So first she's of all, porn for right, subscribers. That's exactly. Awesome. First of all, the, the the stupid part about this is that she already has a fucking sex tape out. It's already on Pornhub. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Wow. So how the fuck you gonna say if we, if I do this? I'm mean, like, what? Like she's stupid. That's that's first. That's one. You feel what I'm saying? Like why would you even bother? You should have did the sex tape, held on to it, didn't put it out, and then said, okay, look, I mean, when I get a million subscribers, I'm gonna put it out. Now yeah. these niggas ain't got no incentive to give you a million subscribers. You feel what I'm saying? So it, you just fucked up your whole situation. You feel what I mean? Like you <laughs> fucked up. That's bad business. Like she's a bad yeah. businesswoman. Like she don't know how to fucking make shit pop. But what annoyed me also, and it was funny because I was watching this other dude's video. He was talking about this too because he was like talking about this topic. And he, was, and he was saying the same thing I'm about to say is that he was like, yo, he's like, look, I got a thousand fucking subscribers, right? He was like, I hate the fact that you could be a chick with, with some titties and an ass and niggas will just fucking subscribe to your shit you understand he's like nigga he's like look he's like i put these videos together i edit it he was like i I put commentary on this motherfucker he's like i'm clever as hell i'm funny you understand he's like i got talent but he was like a bitch could have some titties and an ass and get a million subscribers you feel what i'm saying (laughs) it's like like, yo i was like yo i was like it's true it's true but i'm just like man but this chick you know, she she fucking she fucked up her whole situation. And I'm just like, God damn. And I think she was at like 30, 30,000 subscribers or something like that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't know if she's reaching that million or what. But, you know, and the thing is this. I hope she reaches the million. You understand? I want her to get her shit popping. At least she's trying to do something to make something pop for whatever the hell she's trying to do. I'm just saying, right. how the fuck are you going to do it that way? Like this. This is why, again. This is why we got the topic of the show today. She she needs someone to lead her. Do you understand what I'm saying? She right. she if she had a manager, the manager would have told her, "Yo, like, don't fucking put this sex tape out till you get the million fucking subscribers." Like, what the fuck are you doing? You feel what I'm saying? Like, shit is stupid. I'm like, oh my god. But anyway, you know that's why that's why these chicks need management. But anyway, um, so the, the next story. <laughs> I don't even know why I even wanted to talk about this, but I, I'm just like, this shit is funny to me. But um, this dude, uh, what's his name? I love McConan, the 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 rapper or singer guy that sung uh, Tuesday, the, the hit Tuesday with Drake or whatever. So he came out and basically said that he's gay, right? So my thing was, who didn't know this nigga was gay? You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, like yo, <laughs> like. Like, like, seriously, like, 
it was almost like I feel like niggas was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt to not be gay. Like niggas saw him and they was like, that nigga gay, but nah, nah, he ain't gay. But they was like looking at this thing, nah, nah, that nigga's gay though. That nigga's fucking gay. And then he yeah, comes man. out, <laughs> he's like, yo, I'm gay. And niggas is like, I knew it. I knew that nigga was fucking gay. Like, come on, son. Like, that shit, it's like, it's like, you know, when you see a, a tranny and you, right. and, and she look, she look a little bit too much like a chick, but you're like, nah, that ain't no fucking chick. That's a dude. You feel what I'm saying? That's like, a dude, That's son. a dude, son. Like, get the fuck out. That's how niggas was looking at, at McCone and it's like, that nigga's gay. Get the fuck out of here. Like, get the, oh my goodness. I'm like, wow, man. But I don't know, man. It's, 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 you know, I don't know. I don't even understand why he even took so long to come out with it. I mean, it, it, it is the time to be gay. So why, why bother hiding the shit? You feel what I'm saying? Like, just, just right. be gay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's like, it, yo, I, I did a, um, I did a, um, I did a, can you hear me, dude? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. We can hear you. Okay. I did a, um, I did a gay event last night and brother. <laughs> Pause. Go I ahead. think I think I found out where all the hot chicks be hanging out, son. <laughs> the, the gay dudes. They be hanging out with the gay dudes. Son. Man. I mean, if they're not hanging out with rich dudes, I know they be hanging out with rich dudes. Mm-hmm. But when when they I think when they're not hanging out with rich dudes, they're hanging out with gay dudes. And I mean, not every chick in the in the spot was bad, but it was like an overwhelming amount. Like you know what I'm saying? Like right, right. Because I, I go out, you know, I go out. The places and it's like it'd be a lot of average chicks, like a whole lot of average chicks, and then maybe one or two, right, right, bad ones. But this situation was like the opposite. It was like a whole lot of bad ones and one or two average. You right, know what that's mean? crazy. It, that's yo, crazy. I, I, let me tell you, man. I don't know what it is, but it seems like I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe the male, the male species in the in the United States has been predatorized just way too much. Right, right. So it's like they just they just feel I guess they feel either comfortable or quote unquote empowered to be hanging out with men that that know that don't want to fuck them or something. Mm. Like I don't know. <laughs> uh it's funny. You no, know, you know what it is too. I think I think the fact is also women want um they want friends, you feel what I'm saying? They want right, somebody they can right. talk to. And the thing is, a lot of times Truth be told, chicks don't like their women friends. You feel what I'm saying? So right, so right. <laughs> because and this is what I always never understood. I never understood how a woman expects a man to stick around and like her when she don't even like her own friends. Like you know, it, does that even make sense? You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> like how you expect me? They they be like, how could how could you? That's messed up. Why why don't you call that girl back? Why you just used her for sex? Well, do you like your friends? Do you like hanging out with your right. friends? You be talking shit about your friends all day. So what would okay. make you think that I could also be friends with this chick with a woman when you don't even want to be friends with a woman? You feel what I'm saying? So right. that's why they want to hang out with gay niggas because gay dudes. They, you know, I think it's like a, a, a it's like a, a, a lot of shit going on with that because they get, they get that feminine energy like that, that they would get from a woman friend, you know what I'm saying? But they also get mm-hmm. the male attention that they would get from a guy that they would probably be interested in. You feel what I'm saying? And, right. but also they get the, the, the attention without having to, uh, block the dick that they probably don't want to have to deal with at certain points. You feel what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> so, right. so, it's, so gay dudes are like. They're like a gift to women. You feel what I'm saying? Like that shit is <laughs> that shit is crazy. Like I'm like, man. Like I I, I can see why women love gay dudes, man, cuz it's like chick, gay dudes just gay dudes give women the space to to frolic and 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 be free with their, you know, indecisiveness. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> like, oh, wow. It's so fucking crazy. I'm like And they and their emotions. Uh, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So you know how it's that like, goes. It's like this. It's like they just put the gay dude. Let me tell you this. This event I was at last night. The, the dude that threw the event, like, he, you know, it was something where he, you know, I, client privilege and all that shit, so I ain't going to put business out and try right. whatever. But let's just say that the nigga cried, like, four times. Wow. Four different times. Because this type of thing where he was on the mic, like, Explaining shit to the people at the at the function and this and that, right. and it's just like, and niggas was crying, and it's just like, 
you know, like, I, I don't know, you know? <laughs> It's messed up. We're terrible like, yo, people. Yo, to, to each his own, and I'm not. I'm not knocking nobody, but when you cry multiple times throughout a given night, right? But you know, it's just, it's just like, oh, I'm just so happy you all came out, and it's like right. the niggas just start crying, and I'm like, what? Like what? What's all the emotional stuff about, man? <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Maybe it could be something wrong with me, so I can't talk. You know what I'm saying? But this is weird, man. And it, 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 like I'm like I'm saying, it, it just gives females that kind of, I guess, that kind of comfort space where right. it's like, oh, I can be emotional. I can cry. I can do and say shit that don't make no sense, mm. and it's still gonna be okay because I'm hanging out with gamers. Right. Like, you feel exactly. Me? Exactly. No, it's true. I don't know. It's, it's, it's like it's like they're you know fucking with gaming. They they just. They're just a bunch of enablers, and they just enable the nonsense. Right, exactly, exactly. Because you know, niggas like 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 straight dudes. Just we got an agenda. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, listen, exactly. You're Everything here, has a purpose behind it. You right? Think. You were like, yo, you you you're here for a purpose. And so, a lot of times, women don't want to have to like actually attend to the purpose. You feel what I'm saying? Because they might like be like, well, I don't feel like doing the purpose now. And then the guy is well, like, why the fuck you here then? You feel what I'm saying? And then it becomes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. a conflict and now she's feeling a certain way. You know, and it's like straight dudes don't give chicks room to, to fucking, you know, be on that bullshit. You understand? Unless they're, mm-hmm. unless they're simps or unless, you know, they on that other shit, then maybe, but you know, niggas is trying to fuck. Nah, son. They, that's why. That's why chicks be feeling all weird and shit and getting all, all over the place because it's like they they know it's it's like you know, it's like they're they're it's like you know when you're in school, and you know you're supposed to study for a test, and the test come up but you ain't prepared, and you you start feeling that anxiety and shit when you're about to <laughs> take the test. That's what chicks feel like. They know that when they when they see this nigga, he gonna want to fuck. But they're not prepared for that shit yet. So they at the nigga house and the nigga's trying to make shit pop. And she's like, uh, but I don't, you know, I'm not. And it's just like, she's panicking. You understand? She, she ain't about to, she, she knows she about to fail the fucking test. You feel what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's terrible. But, you know, it's, it, that's just, you know, you're dealing with women. That's how it goes. But anyway, but look, before we get into uh, the, 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 you know, before we take a break, we're going to get into a quick subscriber email. This is like super, super short. So this guy writes, okay. he says, he says, how can you take another man's girl? That's all he wrote. He said, how can you take another Wait, man's say that girl? Again? He said, how can you take another man's girl? That's what he wants to know. And my question to you, to this guy, is why do you want to take another man's girl? You feel what I'm saying? Why? Yeah, and go find your own. The that's, whole point is so you can find your own shit. Be that's like, what I'm saying. Because this this is what I think about it when you're trying to take an, another man's girl, right? On an objective level, what you're, or, or, you know, when you look at it objectively, you're basically putting that woman on a pedestal. You feel what I'm right. saying? It's like, it's like, what are you doing? Like, why do you need her? You feel what I'm saying? And and again, and a lot of th- and a lot of times it's that ego shit too because it's like that shit Drake be doing. You understand? Like Drake be fucking with niggas, girls and shit. You feel what I'm saying? Because I guess he wants he he gets that high off of feeling like oh I fucked your bitch and I got her and blah 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 and all that other dumb shit. So you feel like you got one up on the guy, you know? So it's it's a lot of ego shit. You feel what I'm saying? But but I would say, look, man, you know. Just, just, just holler at other chicks because the thing is, you can't even technically take another man's girl. That girl has to choose to want to fuck with you. Exactly. Period. That's so, the thing. so, so it ain't like you taking her. Exactly. You ain't taking her. She's choosing. So if she's choosing and you feel you know uh, like you want to fuck with it, then that's on you. You feel me? I wouldn't even you know. I, I'm not even you know too heavy on the whole dealing with a chick. Uh, necessarily if she has like a, a, a serious boyfriend and all that other stuff and you gotta like you know uh try to do a whole bunch of extra shit to make shit happen i'm like nah there's so many other women who who ain't got due to just you know out there chilling making it happen and they're you know there's hot uh, other hot girls you can fuck with and just fuck with them you feel what i'm saying like i feel like it's just a waste of time you're putting the pussy on the pedestal and that is that you feel what i'm saying but yeah but anyway well listen we're gonna take a quick break uh, when we come back, we're going to be talking about why 
You can't let women lead in relationships. You guys are listening to The Bad Boy Show. Do you want to learn the easiest way to have more sex with more women? Then get the critically acclaimed book, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. In this book, you'll learn everything you need to know about attracting and sleeping with beautiful women. That's How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. Get your copy today at MrLocario.com. That's M-R-L-O-C-A-R-I-O.com. MrLocario.com. Are you an actor who needs headshots? Do you have an event or a wedding coming up and you need a photographer? If you do, make sure you go to pavionphoto.com. Pavion is a professional photographer who will supply you with high quality video and photography services for any event. Contact him at pavionphoto.com. That's P-A-V-I-O-N photo.com. Pavionphoto.com. Yeah. What up? Uh, we are back. And before we get into the topic, real quick, I got to... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, before we, before we, before we... I just want to say something. Like I meant to say it before you ended the segment, but... Right. Yo, no, none of y'all niggas fucking send, send in no shit like that ever again, man, for real. <laughs> <laughs> How do you take another man's bitch? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, what? <laughs> That shit, nah, like, nah, that shit, that shit got me tight, though, son, like, for real, son. <laughs> the whole point of this, again, again, the whole point of this bad boy shit is for you to understand that there is an abundance mm. of bitches. Exactly, see? exactly. You don't have to be looking at another nigga, nothing. You don't have to be looking at his car, his clothes, his bitch, nothing. Mm-hmm. The point of this whole shit is to go get your own, homie. Pretty much. This is this is this is grown man shit. You're not trying to take nothing from nobody. Like, you, trust me, you're not, you're not trying to take nothing from nobody. That's not the way. That's not the move. Right, right, in, exactly. In any aspect of life, man. Mm-hmm. In any aspect of life, like niggas, yo, know, that's why niggas is out here doing business on some awesome entrepreneurship because entrepreneurship shit because. I'm not. I don't even like taking a fucking check from another man. You right, know what right, I'm saying? exactly. I'm out here trying to build my own. Right. I can get paid on my own through my own. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Real fucking talk. Real fucking talk, man. Let me just gotta learn, son. Let me just gotta learn. This shit is this shit is bigger than a bitch. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. This shit is bigger than a bitch, trust me. Pretty they can much. talk about relationships and dating and, and whatever, but it's really bigger than a bitch, dog. Mm-hmm. So don't don't Y'all niggas better, y'all, y'all, gotta, y'all gotta fucking listen to what we saying, man. Listen to what we saying before y'all fucking say questions up here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's some crazy shit, man. It's real talk. You gotta, you know, you gotta focus on, on, on your shit, getting yours and making shit happen and not, you know, because that, all that stuff is like, you know, you're, you're, it's like you're sort of like putting yourself in a position to, you know, to basically be like trying to be under some shit. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, oh, let me get this this other. <laughs> let me try to jump, get off, get get shit off of you that you can like. Nah, that's crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Then in that situation, you making the chick the most important thing instead of understanding you making yourself the most important thing and getting the things that you need to get going. You feel what I mean? So it's like it's but fucking crazy for yourself by yourself. You exactly. Know what I'm saying? Like, Come on, man! You like you bitch, bitch ass niggas out here robbing niggas, like robbing, robbing. Mm-hmm. Like what the fuck, you? Come on, man! Right. Go get your own shit, man. Mm-hmm. Pretty much, pretty crazy, much. Man. It's crazy, but um, but real quick, um, we forgot to mention earlier that mm-hmm. you guys need to make sure that you go to thebadboystore.com, dot com. Okay, make yes, sure sir. you go to thebadboystore.com. dot com. Go get your own shit. Exactly, and also um. Make sure you guys, uh, I'm going to leave a, the, the, the link at the bottom of this video. Make sure you guys get tickets to the Bad Boy Seminar, which is uh, on March 25th, 2017. Make sure you get Yo, your tickets today. The, okay? nigga that sent, the nigga that sent in that, that question in the, in the subscriber email, mm. please get your tickets. Exactly, bro. for real. Tickets. Real talk. <laughs> come and come. Like, like I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not expressing no hate. You understand? I'm... This is more like a tough love thing where I want niggas to really understand 
that this shit is bigger than is bigger than a bitch, man. It's 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 it's, it's about a way of life. It's about something that's that's way more important. That's gonna give you a purpose that's that's even greater than yourself. So you can understand what it what it is to fucking affect change in your own in your own life in your own community in your own family it, within yourself as a as a as a human being. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So. So it ain't, it ain't it ain't no hate. I'm not you know I'm not saying that shit to to just to hate on niggas or to to just put niggas down. I'm saying it because the the, the direction of your question lets me know the direction that you're headed in, and that shit ain't cool. You right, understand what I'm right, saying? Exactly. So before you go down that road, I need niggas to 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 really like come in, like get a ticket to the seminar and and um and come chop it up with niggas, so we can really get down to the nitty gritty, so we can get niggas on the on the right path. Right, exactly, exactly. All right, so today's topic, people, is why you can't let women lead the relationship. All right, so, and, you know, this goes for basically any part of the relationship you're having with a chick. This is like literally from the moment you meet a chick, let's say you meet a chick at a bar, to, you know, the moments where you're dating a girl, to the moments where she's your girlfriend, to where she's your wife, every part of the situation, you need to be leading the situation, okay? And the reason why you need to be leading the situation is because what happens is that you can't follow your girl because women, you understand, they are led by their emotions. So what happens is, is that when you get into a situation with a woman, when you're with her, right, your, your actual purpose, you understand, if we're talking about like a balance when it comes to relationship, your purpose is to sort of guide her. See, there's nothing wrong with a woman having emotions because she's supposed to be emotional the way she is. You understand what I'm saying? Your point, your purpose is to, you know, guide that situation between you and her to steer it in the right direction. Because as a man, you think you're, you're a little bit more pragmatic than uh, women are. You understand what I'm saying in general? So when she gets with you and you guys are that, you know, together and y'all are dealing with each other, you have to be able to lead the situation because, again, women, they're going to act based off of their feelings. And if you're following her, you're going it, it's not going to be a good situation in, you know, in, in a lot of these cases. You understand what I'm saying? Now, the thing is this, is that if you're in a specific situation, because there's always this argument that comes up about, oh, why can't, you know, you follow a woman doing this and doing that. Now, if you're in a fucking restaurant, you understand what I'm saying? And you're and the girl you fucking with is a doctor and somebody chokes. And then she's like, they're trying to help the person and she's asking you to do something for her. Of course, you follow her lead in that situation because she's the doctor and she understands that specific situation. And she's trying to actually make something uh, practical happen in that moment. You understand what I'm saying? But we're talking about in general. You feel what I mean? When you're dealing with your girl, you understand on a, on a general type, regular type of shit, you're supposed to be uh, leading the situation. And, one of the big reasons you shouldn't, you need to be leading it is also is because women don't respect men that follow them. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So, so no matter what these chicks are belly aching and talking about and complaining about and saying, Oh no, we, uh, you know, we could do it this way. We could do it that way. And yada, 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 yada. Women don't like men th- that follow them. Period. You feel what I'm saying? Women want to be led. You understand? They they like men who are assertive, men who are going to uh, basically, you know, lead them in the right direction. They're looking for that when they're dealing with guys. You feel what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that you can't get fooled into thinking because this is the thing, because even I myself at times get fooled by this. And as a man, sometimes you're going to get fooled by this because what happens is, is that there's there's this it's 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 an interesting trick that happens to you when you're you know going about your situations in society where they try to make you believe that women are basically equal on all levels to men you feel what i'm saying and then right. so you keep hearing this outcry of oh that's that's not right and men and women are equal and men and women can do the same things and it, you know it doesn't matter and you're being a chauvinist and blah 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 and all this other stuff so then you know Part of you wants to say, you know what? Fine, let me let me let me fall back. Let you know. How about I? Maybe I'm being too rough. Maybe I'm being too, uh, you know, too much of a quote unquote male chauvinist. You feel what I'm saying? Maybe I'm, I'm I got my foot on your neck too hard. You feel what I mean? So let me fall back and 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 chill, right? Then you fucking do that, 
And then what happens is that you see that all the shit you already thought was, was, was true. You're like, damn, well, I fell back and you, 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 you chicks are still fucking up. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Like, so what the fuck is going on? So now you got to go back to, to where you was already at. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because you tried to give them that leeway and they still didn't really know how to, uh, 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 you know, make, make the shit pop off. You feel what I'm saying? They didn't, they didn't know how to manage. They didn't know how to manage their own freedom. Exactly, exactly, and it's it's terrible. It's fucking terrible. And see, the 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 problem is is that you're gonna have a hard time getting women, and even you know, due to our male feminist and manginas and all of that other shit, to uh to understand this. You feel what I'm saying? Because the thing is, is that. It's like it's like trying to explain racism to somebody. You feel what I mean? It's like, yo, motherfuckers is racist, and they're like, well, what, I mean, what do you mean? Like, uh, you know, it's not really true because you know, if you work hard, then this can happen, and it's not about your skin color and yada 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 yada. You feel what I'm saying? But it's like right. you know the truth, but it's like they want to deny the racism because then they have to confront that as the reality. Women want to deny that they need to be led. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> because they don't want to, because to to be led in their eyes, makes them feel like they are not, uh, you know, smart or it makes them feel like they're not good enough, makes them feel like they're being oppressed and all that other shit. You feel what I'm saying? But see, the thing is, a man leading a woman benefits the woman. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. They don't understand that shit. You know what I mean? So the thing is, is that when you're in a relationship with a woman, right, a lot of, there's going to be a lot of times, and I talked about this on my, on my live YouTube show the other day, I was saying that there's a lot of times where um, or, or I was say, I was basically saying it like this: any type of long term relationship between a man and a woman only works or only continues uh ninety percent of the time. Now there's always exceptions, but I say ninety nine for ninety five percent of the time. The only way a relationship works is because of the management of the man. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because right. the reason why I'm saying this is because there's so many things that's going, you know, that, that, that usually happens in relationships, you know, um, when it comes to women, it, it, unless the woman's on point and, and most women aren't, but unless the woman's on point, it's a different story. But most of the time, what happens is women will do things that, uh, that justify you, sh that justify that you should break up with them. Do you understand what I'm saying? So basically you'll be with your chick and, and let's say, and I've seen this happen plenty of times. Let's say you with your chick, right? And a dude, he's sort of like a beta male, sort of maybe, you know, and they get into an argument and she slaps the shit out this nigga. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so now objectively, you would say, you know what? That guy needs to leave that girl, right? Right. Because that's grounds for dismissal. You feel what I'm saying? Or let's say, or let's say something like, a woman that is with a dude, she, she like constantly like, you know, just yells at him or disrespects him or she has an attitude or, you know, she, she gets super emotional. She starts throwing like plates and, and pans at, in, in the house at you because she's mad or whatever. That's grounds for dismissal. You feel what I'm saying? But right. what most, what most dudes do is they calm, they try to calm her ass down. They bring her back to the center. And then she's calm, and then, and then usually what happens a lot of times is the chick will be like, oh, you know, I'm so sorry, I was just so upset, and, you know, I was feeling blah, 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 and, 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 then, and then they continue the goddamn relationship. But the point is, is that she was supposed to be dumped. You feel what I'm saying? But what, but what happens is that a lot of times, what it happens is that a guy... He knows how to, he, he has to manage that situation and, and continue the situation on. So a lot of times when a guy is very good at managing the situation, it doesn't even get to the point where a woman to slap him. It doesn't get to the point where she's going to be throwing pots and pans and all that other shit because he's checked her before that could even go down. And that checking was him managing the, the situation before it could even get out of hand. You understand what I'm saying? Exactly. And that's, exactly. and that's leading the damn situation. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why it's very important for you to, you know, understand that you have to, you know, lead these situations because if you don't lead it, if you don't uh, orchestrate it in that way, then you're basically, um, you know, making your relationship just go any way it goes and then it could be a lot of chaos. It's almost the same way as a teacher, you know, how a teacher manages their classroom. So on the first day of school, 
that teacher needs to let the class know, look, I'm not the teacher to fuck with. You understand what I'm saying? Exactly. And then so the so the kids will act right. Same thing happens when you're dealing with women. You have to let her know you're not the type of guy to fuck with, and then she then she acts right. And again, this isn't you needing to be a tyrant. You don't need to fucking yell. You don't need to grab her by the neck. You don't got to do none of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? You can say this shit, man, cool, calm, we're collected. Just let her know what it is. You feel what I mean? Let her know what, what, what has to go down. But also, what you got to understand is, is that before you even get with a woman, you have to test her to see if she is uh, capable of being led. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because... <laughs> because... Because, yo, some of these chicks you're going to deal with, you know, let's say if you meet a chick at a bar somewhere, or you on a first date with a girl or whatever, and some of these chicks are so far out there. They're so, like, they're just so, like, uncooperative. They're just so, like, they're just a mess. You feel what I'm saying? Where they're not, they're not, uh, they're not at the place where they 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 can have a man you understand like they're not there yet they need to work on some shit because they 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 have so many issues and they got so much shit going on that it's going to be a headache for you to try to even deal with her interact with her you feel what i'm saying and so a lot of times you know because even this times where because I'm, I'm 35 years old right now Sometimes I will go out with, like, I've gone out with chicks who are older than me, like, maybe even, like, in their late 40s. Sometimes this is one chick I went out with, she was, like, in her early 50s and shit, but she was bad. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm chilling with her, and we chilling at the bar, whatever, we talking, and then, you know, I like to get a little close, (laughs) you know, and touchy-feely. And then she was like, at first, she was like, oh, why Why are you so close to me and all this other stuff? And I'm just like, what? So I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, woman, you you, you like 50-something years old, and you complaining still? Like, you, I'm like, is this, this, is this why you're still single at 50? Is that what's going on? Like, you feel right. what I'm saying? Is there a reason why you're in this position? You feel me? Like, so I'm thinking, you know, that little thing right there was showing me that, okay, you're probably the type of chick who's going to be uncooperative. You're probably the type of chick who you're not, you're not going to cooperate with the leadership because this is what you got to understand about leadership is that a leader can't lead if the follower doesn't follow. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm, So it's not about, and this is why, and this is why I always get annoyed when women talk about, Oh, you know, it's, you know, being a leader and you know, that's wrong and that's oppressive. And you're saying that women have to just do this and do that. I'm like, no, 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 no. A, a leader doesn't, a, 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 a real leader doesn't force anyone to follow him or her or whoever it is. You understand what I'm saying? The leader right. is only being a leader because the person is following their lead. And it, it, there's a there's a relationship there. You feel what I'm saying? So it's not anything that's forced or whatever, whatever. So if you're dealing with a chick and it's almost like you're pulling teeth and you have to force it to go down and it, that that chick, she's, she's not ready to be led. You understand? And you don't need to fuck with her. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's the type of shit you can see from the jump. This is why when we say if a chick's not cooperating, you got to kick it to the curb. If she keeps flaking and doing all that bullshit, kick it to the curb. If she has an attitude, if she's, you know, uh, being all on some bullshit, kick it to the curb, charge it to the game because she's not ready for any of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? And, And the thing is that the leadership starts from the jump. You understand? Starts from when you say, Hey, miss, what's going on? How you doing? Blah, blah, blah. My name is so-and-so. Y'all are interacting. That's when it starts. So when you at the bar and you tell her and you you sitting at the bar and she she's like standing up and you tell her, hey, you know, come closer to me or come here. And, she, and if she doesn't come here, that's already strike one. You feel what I'm saying? Like she's fucking up now. You feel what I mean? She's not following your leadership now. You understand what I'm saying? So you got to look out for little things like that because... The thing is this, is that if a chick really is into you and she really wants shit to pop, yo, women are so fucking, like, when a chick likes you, when a chick is feeling you, like, she she does shit. She goes out the out of her way to please you. She she wants to make sure that you are uh, feeling the most comfortable. She wants to make sure everything you want is going down. Like, she wants the shit to pop. You feel what I'm saying? And so... That's a chick that you can, you know, lead. These other chicks who are just, you know, all over the place, who's like, you know, giving all that resistance and all the other stuff. She don't, she don't know where she's going. She don't know what she wants. She's all over the place. She got issues. 
fuck that. You understand what I'm saying? You keep that shit fucking moving. You feel me? So, you know, and this is the thing you got to understand is that you can't have a successful relationship with a woman who can't follow instructions. You feel what I'm saying? Right. You can't have it. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You feel what I'm saying? It's real talk. <laughs> and so a lot of dudes they get married to chicks and these chicks don't know how to follow instructions they're not submissive they don't you know they're not cooperating and this is why they're you know in in marriages and all that shit in relationships where they're miserable they're running behind their girlfriends they're scared of their girlfriends or their wives like you ever seen a, a nigga that's scared of his girl you understand what i'm saying it's disgusting Terrible. It's dis- yeah. like like niggas talking about yo. I gotta ask my girl if I could come out and hang out. What, nigga? Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> like it's like it's like, a, it's like sadness. Like you know when the, you know when the horse br- breaks his leg and like you gotta take him out to the pasture and shoot him. Right, and right. Like you're, you're sad to do it because you know you love the horse, but it's like. There's no, there's no. If a horse can't walk or move, there's no purpose for him, and he's only in pain because right. his leg is broke. Right. So it's like you just gotta go take him out to the pasture and shoot him. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what it is when a when a when a when a dude is like afraid of his wife and shit. It's the worst. Right. It's terrible, man. Talking about, I gotta ask permission. Like, uh, I gotta see, I gotta see, uh, you know, I gotta see what she, what she, what she gonna think about that, and then I gotta like what. Like, nigga, like, are you serious? Like, oh, my God, like, that should be killing me. I'm like, man. See, like, there's a difference between if you making big decisions and you are uh, talking to your wife about it versus right. you saying, nigga, I'm trying to, like, like you got to ask your wife to go get a drink and hang out with your boy. Like, get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> shit is crazy. But, you know, that's what happens when dudes don't lead the relationship. You feel what I'm saying? They they following a girl just like you that you was talking about in that commercial. Remember the commercial with the black dude? He yeah, talking to his the, wife the on the AT&T phone. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the dude, his friend is like, "Yo, we want to go to the movies," and he got to ask his wife, "Hey, honey, uh, what are we doing tomorrow?" She's like, "Oh, but I thought we were gonna sit on the couch and hold hands." He's like, "Well, Fred, I can't go to the movies because I gotta go with my wife to, and sit on the couch." And his wife is like, "Oh, don't worry about it. I'll 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 go and and hang out with Sue." And he's like, "Hey, Fred, I can go now because my wife let me go." And then the wife's like, "But you know what? Matter of fact, let's." hang out and he's like well fred i can't hang out now because i'm like you fucking fuck i like that shit i that yo that that commercial pissed me off so much I, like, all the time every time i see it i get tight <laughs> i was like yo like these niggas is the worst but oh my goodness another thing too you know and i was i was watching my my dude uh uh ron wills video shout out to ron wills he's spitting that fire mm-hmm. check him out on uh on youtube but he had a he had a video and he was talking about, um, I think it was titled like uh, a woman's ghosts or something like that. And he was basically saying that uh, women, when they're dealing with men, right, they take on sort of like the 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 ideology and the personalities of the guys that they deal with. You feel what I'm saying? So right. they're very influenced by you know the men that they dealt with. So he was like, sometimes you meet a chick. And you're not even necessarily meeting her. You meeting the 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 guy she fucking with now, or the last guy she was dealing with. You feel what I'm saying? So, and and so the thing is, what happens is is that, and this goes when we talk about like why you can't let women lead or whatever is because women are naturally, uh, you know, they they gravitate to the energy of the dude. They go along with your program. This is this is how it naturally works. You feel what I'm saying? This is how it right. naturally happens. So this is you know this is another thing where. It's like, you know, it's important for you to understand how important the leadership is, because let's say if you get a wife or let's say a long term girlfriend or wife or whatever, and y'all start a family and all that other shit, it's important for her to be able to follow instructions. It's important for her to uh, to for you to know to know how to um, for you to manage the relationship and lead it so that you can have a well functioning family. You feel what I'm saying? So that shit can right. go down the way that it needs to go down. Because when your wife or your girlfriend, or whoever it is, starts wilding out because of some shit or she starts getting super emotional and crazy about some shit, you got to be that dude that that that, uh, uh, you know, that person to be able to handle 
and and coordinate that situation to get it back to where it needs to be. It's just like when you it's just like when you go to a fucking uh, restaurant or or you know a, a establishment or something like that. And anytime something is going wrong or something's going crazy, they say, "Hey, where's the manager? Can you get the manager?" You always hear, "Can you get the manager?" Why? When right. you hear, "Can you get the manager?" That means that there's some sort of chaos or some sort of uh, you know craziness going on. Right? It's the same thing with, when you with your girl. That chaos and all that crazy shit going on, that's her emotions, that's her going all over the place, and somebody needs to get the manager. You feel what I'm saying? And that's you. You feel what I mean? So you have to be able to understand how important it is for you to lead. And the thing is, as a man, you are uh, you know, biologically built that way. You're you're that's how you that's how your 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 thought process is. You you understand what I'm saying? It's like right. the way where a man is able to you know, like, cause this is what I was thinking about the other day. I was like, the fact that a guy, like, I think it's, it's, it's important that men are able to just fuck chicks and leave. And, and the reason why I say that is because you need that type of practicality or that type of, that type of energy to be able to separate, um, emotion from logistics in order in, in other areas of, of life. You understand? So that that's a representation of a, of what he can do in times of uh need. So like, there's going to be a time where a guy might not feel like doing something, but he knows he needs to do something for the betterment, betterment of the situation. You feel what I'm saying? Right. For a woman, right. she's, she's, she's sort of, uh, you know, generally tied to the emotion and the feeling is tied into everything else because when she has a kid or she has that baby, she's looking to for, she's looking toward that guy or to stick with that guy in order to be taken care of in order to make that shit happen. So all of this shit is basically natural is naturally in us for the man to be leading and the woman to, you know, be following. You understand? And the thing is, there is no, uh, there's no better or worse, uh, in the actual, um, you know, uh, when you look at following and leading, because again, women, they're always going to be like, Oh, well, you know, how come you get to lead? And, and it's, it's better to be a leader. And I'm like, no, it's not better or worse to be a leader. It's not better or worse to follow. You understand? Everybody follows and leads in certain situations. It's, it's the yin and the yang. You understand? That's like saying, that's like saying, uh, um, you know, the, the, that's like saying the back of you is better than the front of you. You need the front and the back to be you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, right. what the fuck are right. you talking about? Like, that shit makes no sense. It's like that's part of the thing. It's the yin and the yang. It's the up and the down. It's the left and the right. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, I don't. It's like they always on that bullshit. But this is why, again, you know, you got to understand that concept. Not get fooled by these motherfuckers that try to convince you that oh, it's wrong for you to 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 um to to want to lead and no 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 no. This shit is if you want your relationship to work. You have to lead. You have to. You understand? You have to. Even because even sometimes I don't feel like fucking leading. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm like, damn, I got to I got to lead in this situation because if I don't, this shit is not going to go the way it needs to go. And there's been situations where I didn't lead and the shit fucked up and I and I knew it was my fault for not leading. You feel what I'm saying? I knew it. I was like, see, that's and those are the worst ones. <laughs> right. Those are the worst ones. Right. Because- <laughs> you tell you 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 knew you should have done, and it's like, yo, man, like, right? This this, this situation is gonna get out of control, and you can see it happening, right? You can see, because you see, that's the thing. Like, always, always, this is a, uh, a a debate I always have with females. I'm like, I think I say females like foresight because you can only see as far as your emotions will show you, right? You see, what I'm saying <laughs> a man, a man is gonna look at a situation and see the the potential of of what can happen on a logical basis mm-hmm. and they'll say, well, okay, well, logically speaking, this is going to happen. So I'm not going to do this, but a chick, she's like, well, I feel this way. So I'm going to just do this shit. Right. And then right. it's like all hell breaks loose because of what you were feeling. And it's like, hey, exactly. That's the, those are the things that you, that you have to manage as a dude when you're in a relationship. And that's why it makes more sense for you to be fucking leading the relationship. Pretty fucking much. That's what I'm saying. And it's like, again, you, cause like I was saying earlier, you get caught up in thinking that, damn, well, you know, uh, uh, you know, all these people are saying that, that, you know, it, it's, it, we're, we're, we're all equal. We're all the same. And, and I, you know, I, let me just let her do this because she's no, 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 no. This one, and I said this before, 
We are all equal and not equal at the same time. We're equal because we are human beings, right? But we are also right. different. You understand what I'm saying? There's a difference between, you know, men and women. You understand? And that difference, since it, since you are different, you understand? There's certain things that need to happen in order to make the, the, the whole situation work. You understand? And we need to basically, uh, uh, you know, go along with our differences in order to make the shit work. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, you can't, you can't be on some shit where, oh, everything is the same because this is the thing about that, that, that in life, you, you know, the only reason you understand whatever you understand is because of its opposite. Do you understand what I'm saying? And a man right. is, and a woman are opposites. You understand? And those opposites are, are different, right? But this is but this is the thing though. And this is why I say we're equal and not equal. See, we're not equal because we're different and we're opposite, but we are equal because we we we're as a whole we're basically like one one unit at the end of the day. See, I'm not, I ain't want to get all deep on the shit, but the thing is is that you can't have up without down. You can't have down without up. You can't have left without right. right. You can't have right without left. You don't know what the fuck right is without left. You don't know what left is without right. You understand what I'm saying? You need the man in order to know what the woman is. You need the woman in order to know what the man is. You feel what I'm saying? But see, that's the thing they try to trick you into thinking that oh well, you know. Uh, everything is the same, you understand, and nothing is different, and that makes absolutely no sense because you can't even have that if you tried. There's no thing on earth or anything that you can think of where everything is just that way and that's it because in order for you to know what that thing is, you need to understand its opposites. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. That is, is that simple? Exactly. It's like, it's like saying, oh, well, uh, you know, uh, everything is hot. It's always hot. And I'm like, okay, so what, what does hot mean? Right. In, in order for you to even explain hot, you're going to, at some point have to talk about cold. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. so that's what I'm saying. Like, it's fucking crazy how, you know, when, when we get into these discussions and we say, listen, you know, uh, we talking about leadership and we talking about this, we talking about being submissive and all this other stuff. And the ego on, you know, a lot of women and feminists and all that, they want to feel, they, they, they feel inadequate. So they feel like, oh, well, by you saying that you should lead, that's making me feel like I'm nothing because I'm following and following is worse than leading. And they don't understand that following and leading go or one in the fucking same. It goes together. You understand what I'm saying? Goes together mm-hmm. just like back and front. You feel what I'm saying? It's a, part, it's a part of the system. It's a part. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? And so that's what, that's what it is. So don't get caught up in thinking that. Cause a lot of guys are going to get caught up thinking, well, you know, uh, I, I feel weird about leading because you know, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm doing this and no, 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 you're supposed to do that shit. You feel what I'm saying? So make that shit fucking happen. All right. So, that is it, man. Anything else you want to say, Miles, before we get out of here? Well, I just want to remind dudes to uh, go to go to badboymembership.com because, you know, based on based on the topic of this show, it shows you that, I mean, you know, a lot of the game is getting the girl, but the game really begins once you actually get the girl. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like your, your, your job... The, the job actually starts once you get the girl and, and you, you say you want to be in a relationship or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's where the game actually begins. So it's it's different stages and levels. So that's why you definitely got to become a member so you can so you can have all of this information at your disposal. You know exactly, what I'm exactly. Make sure you guys Real go sick. to badboymembership.com. Also, make sure you guys click that link below to get tickets to... The Bad Boy Seminar. Make sure you guys get tickets. I want to see all of you guys. Times Square, New York City, March 25th, 2017. Make sure you get your tickets today, all right? Because space is limited. Make sure you get them tickets. All right, so we are out of here. All right, so we will see you guys next time. And remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. We're gone. Later. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step by step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.